I quit my corporate world job uh, about four months ago, and the idea was to go traveling around the world uh, on just $80 a day. Here's the thing, I'm still in Sydney. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> Sydney is absolutely lovely. Oh no, he's trapped with all these gorgeous beaches. How terrible. Um, it is wonderful, Sydney is wonderful, but I think, you know, I'd spent so long preparing myself to go around the world that I'm still here four months later. So, what went wrong? Well, it was about November when I quit my job and the world was just beginning to open up again. Uh, I think Japan was beginning to open, Thailand, places like that, places I really, really wanted to visit. And then Omicron came along and it's like, oh no, everywhere shut down. So the idea was we'd go to a small town, a remote town, where it would be cheap to stay in Australia. Obviously, uh, me and the missus, we'd both given up our jobs. There was no money coming in. We had to save money. So we went off to a little town for a couple of months. Uh, and then the great thing is the United Kingdom was one of the first countries in the world that said, come on over, everyone, come on over. No paperwork required, no PCR tests, no quarantining. Uh, just come over unless you're on the list of red countries. And the funny thing is, if you click that list, it says there are no countries currently on our red list. That means I could go over. So I booked the ticket and I was ready to fly to the UK. So I came up from that little town I was talking about, began to head towards the UK. On my way to Sydney airport, someone, and I'm not, this isn't political, uh, mentioned the word nuke and Europe in the same sentence. And so <laughs> I thought, there's no way I wanna be in Europe right now. So I canceled my trip and uh, I'm stuck in Sydney right now and I want to see how it goes over the next two weeks. I literally don't know which part of the world I'll be in in two weeks time. So I'm here in Sydney, it's lovely. Um, and I really hope that in two weeks time, I'm either gonna be back in the United Kingdom, which would be pretty awesome, or maybe somewhere like the Philippines. It could be a complete surprise. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Fingers crossed that everything ends up okay.